we should actually look at some toils. What do you think? I, I like the idea. I like the idea. Let's we'll see what we have. Well, I don't know what kind of jumps out at me is a really nice structure, but there's uh, there's really some soil life here. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Look at that earthworm. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. So we've got uh, I can count three individuals right there. Yeah. Yeah. See there. Yeah. Four. And then plenty, plenty of soil structure. It's really nice macropores. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know we, we underestimate that that duff layer. You see that that on the top. It's just it's just so important. Yep. To have that. So that's your soil armor. You bet. And that then also keeps the temperatures a little bit well, warmer in the winter. Is that right? Absolutely. You yeah. Bet. Yeah. Okay. Well, the other thing too, you know, you, you're looking at that rise. Is that that, that root system, that fine root system, yeah. really aggregates things really nice. So. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So maybe we should take a sample of this over Let's to take, the other right. Let's do location. That. Okay. Oh, cool. Do it. All right. Okay, tell us about this field. Well, you know, this, this field actually was, was tilled up about 10 days ago. It's, it's an anite soil. It's the same anite that we were looking at uh, in the inside. Yep. And uh, what's interesting to me is, is you, you'd go out here, you take a, a spade full of soil, and people would look at that and say, well, well, that looks fine, that looks great. There's nothing wrong with that. The other problem is they don't have any context. So we went over and got the end of soil the way it was supposed to look, and look at the organic matter differences. I mean, you don't have to be a soil scientist to figure out this. Look at the soil structural differences. You, you, know, you can see that you've got really nice granular structure um, in this sample, how deep that organic matter actually looks like. And this thing, we, we've tilled it up, and we've actually got some angular blocky. It's really fluffy on that surface. It's broke down really um, well. It, it actually it crusts over really, really uh, 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 a lot on that surface. You can see that crusting yeah. from that raindrop impact. Right, right, right. But you know, that, that, to, to me, that that's a real interesting thing is 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 just how much stark difference that is in the organic matter. Just, yeah. just comes right out at you. Yeah, no, definitely. And then you also pointed out about the, the uh, weeds. That well, yeah, yeah, we, we, we talk about that all the time, this, this, the weed pressure that we have out in fields, etc. And yet we're building that weed seed bank out here. And how are we doing that? Well, we're burying this, the, the uh, well, in this particular case, resistant kochia. Um, then we're tilling it down, we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of it. Well, then it comes right back at us again. And this was 10 days ago and it, it flushes again on us. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so is tillage really the, the solution to, to weed management? No, it's not. In, In fact, fact it's, it's the opposite. Absolutely, it is the opposite. I mean, every roughly 10 years, we have a severe drought. During the winter months, we can have some really uh, cold stretches and, and glow uh, below zero for quite a while. So there's a lot of variation in, in temperature, a lot of variation in, in moisture. Yeah. 